Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Justice Minister Dominic Raab has announced major shake-up to how transgender prisoners are treated in Britain's prison service. Up until now, any male who identifies as a woman is treated as a woman and put into a female jail. This is clearly unfair and immoral, and what woman wants to be locked up in a cell for 23 hours a day with a man? So now ministers will have to sign off on putting men into women's prisons and will have the right to pull men out of women's prisons where they currently reside. Let's look at this article and go into more depth. So trans prisoners are to be barred from women's jails in a strict new policy proposed by Dominic Raab. The Justice Secretary Dominic Raab plans to implement the policy on trans prisoners. Ministers will have to sign off on the move of male-bodied inmates to women's prisons. The government would also have the power to order the removal of transgender prisoners. And this is only right, uh, because they're biologically male, they need to be in with the other men. Um, as I say, what woman wants to be locked in a cell with a, with a man? Apart from the things like the massive increase in risk to physical harm, there's also the danger of R. And yes, it happens far, far more than you'd think. So transgender prisoners who are biologically male are to be blocked from serving time in women's jails, the Mail on Sunday can reveal. Following high profile scandals involving trans prisoners, Justice Secretary Dominic Raab uh, plans to implement a new policy whereby ministers have to sign off any move to a woman's prison of a male bodied inmate who self identifies as a woman. The government would also have the power to order the removal of transgender prisoners from jails. Sources say Mr Raab has adopted the tough stance following the alarming incident earlier this year involving a transgender prisoner serving time for M at HM Prison Bronzefield in Surrey. This thing identifies as a woman and was put in a woman's jail. I kid you not. It would be hard to love. The prisoner, who has male genitalia, was caught having consensual relations with another inmate after consuming illegally brewed alcohol. This is in prison, so they were getting drunk and having it off in prison. A man and a woman in a woman's prison, because he is a man. There was also the allegation that the same inmate committed an SA against a female prisoner. But last night the Ministry of Justice said they had no record of a complaint. No, because, you know, in prison you don't grasp, do you? It's that. So, oh, well, nobody said anything. Well, of course not. But that bloke needs to have his ghoulies cut off. A whistleblower at Bronzefield said female inmates were extremely uncomfortable by the transgender prisoner's presence, but felt unable to complain. The insider said that the prisoner, who has emmed people, has allegedly been overheard saying, I'm going to F you to one prisoner, and on another, on another occasion said, I love P-U. You know the word. Why would I want to be in a man's prison? So effectively, he's claimed to be a woman, gets put into a woman's prison, and he's given a smorgasbord of women to pleasure him, whether they want to or not. Uh, late last year, it was revealed that there were 40 transgender prisoners in women's prisons in England and Wales. Almost all were born male. Officials confirm there have been seven S attacks and R's of female prisons, prisoners by transgender inmates in recent years. They include convicted offender Karen White, you can read the words, I can't say them because of the YouTube algorithm, who SA'd two women while on remand at Newhall Jail in, in Wakefield. So they've sent a man into a woman's prison and he's SA'd two women while on remand. Uh, White, who was formerly known as Stephen Wood, uh, was described as a judge as a predator who was a danger to women and children. But so the judge describes him as a danger to women and the jail service put him in a jail full of women. What? Heads need to roll. That case saw the prison service open a dedicated transgender wing at HMP Downview in Surrey, but the problem persists. The whistleblower at Bronzefield, the UK's largest women's prison with 527 inmates, said every time there's a transgender male to female with a male organ brought into the prison, the female prisoners are extremely uncomfortable and upset. I would suggest to the female prisoners that this man that's brought in with organ, so he's going in intacto, uh, should not remain intacto for very long. 
Um, I believe that um, if he's so desperate to be a woman, that you should help him on his way. If nothing else, it will reduce the incidence of R in your prison. Uh, but the women prisoners don't feel they can complain because they think nothing will be done. Because nothing will be done. Because up until now, the whole establishment is pushing the trans lobby's agenda. And anyone who says, I'm a woman, has got to be treated as a woman. Because otherwise, the whole prison service will be seen as an istinophobe by that tiny minority of the mentally ill. A government source said Mr Raab's policy, which is likely to face legal challenges from pro-trans campaigners, the right, you know, the mentally ill and human rights lawyers, the, you know, the, the one that the ones that think that they're doing good in the world by standing up for trans rights, when actually what they're doing is they're aiding and abetting the R of women in prison. And so really, if they stand up for this, consider that human rights lawyers are little better than the R's themselves. Uh, they'll have to be signed off by the Cabinet once a new Prime Minister is installed, which will be in a few weeks. Um, however, if it gets the green light, an inmate in a men's prison will be allowed to switch to a woman's jail only if a minister authorises it. A Whitehall source said the current policy of allowing male-bodied prisoners to self-identify as women and switch jails was putting vulnerable women at risk. Certainly, if I was unlucky enough to get convicted tomorrow, I would immediately claim to be a woman. Uh, not that I represent a risk to women, but... I just don't want to be beaten up in prison by bigger, harder, stronger men. Uh, at least in a woman's prison, I would have an easier life. I treat them with respect, of course, because I want an easy life. The source added, the current approach is not safe. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, the next Justice Secretary needs to get an urgent grip and protect female prisoners from potential male-bodied predators. Now, the whole shift here, there is a massive shift. We're starting to see it in sport where trans athletes are not welcome in women's events. And that shift is now moving into the prisons where trans men going into, or men going into women's prisons is not welcome. And it needs to be the case. You do not put men in a woman's prison. You do not lock a woman in a cell for 23 hours with a man. And I still can't get over how that thing calls itself a woman. Uh, if we cannot protect women in the most tightly controlled environment in the country, where can we protect single sex spaces? Quite right. You're in prison, women. You know, you should be safe in prison. We all know shit goes on in prison and that's fine. But you shouldn't expect to get hard in a woman's prison. And yet it's happening. A Ministry of Justice spokesman last night confirmed that Mr Rabb plans to change the rules. They added, having reviewed the arrangements in July, the Justice Secretary directed changes so transgender prisoners with male genitalia are not housed with other biologically born women. Can we just say women in the female prison estate unless specifically signed off by a minister and then that minister has to take responsibility. Once confirmed by the new government in September, it would be implemented as soon as possible and the, uh, the spokesman for the prison said we do not commit, uh, comment on individuals. Well, I think in cases like that, someone has to comment on how that got into a woman's prison. And it will come up. One can only hope that whoever emerges victorious in the leadership campaign for the Tory party, and who will therefore be the next Prime Minister, will allow this bill to proceed through Parliament and become enshrined in law. To have ministers saying who goes into where is very, very important, rather than just de facto assuming that a man who says he's a woman is a woman because they're quite clearly not and this goes a long way to protecting women in general as well as specifically the women in prison many of whom are particularly vulnerable the tide is turning on trans and quite rightly now no one's saying you can't be trans but women need to be protected and there is no safer space theoretically than a woman's prison so why are men in there abusing and arring women it has to stop. It must stop. Now, as I say, with sports going against this and not allowing men to compete against women, and now the prison service hopefully bringing in this law to keep men away from vulnerable women, how long before many other areas of society say enough is enough and we stop pandering to the mentally ill? Anyway, shall finish there. If you like what I hear and say on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like leave a comment and until next time stay safe stay well keep the ghoulies out of prison and goodbye